What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay, aka Straight Drop Jay, and you're now watching Reason Gang TV. Today, we're gonna go over the Serum VST. It's a boss, it's a giant, it's Serum. Come on. All right, so what we're gonna do with Serum is we're going to do the Hyper Growl. And it's going to be Transformer-ish, like the movie Transformers. It's uh, it's one of the dopest sounds I've heard in a long time. And I did a little research on how to do it and synthesize it from scratch in the serum. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And come on, let's check out the serum. Hyper Growl, Dubstep Lead. Let's go. Okay, so we start off with Initialized Serum. <clears throat> We're going to go right here to the wave. And we'll draw a square. That's the first step. Then um, we bring this up to 10, the unison. And detune about 1, 1.1-ish. 1 .1 and uh, what we'll do is we go to menu and you resample a few times. I'll show you the difference of what happens. That's before. Resample again. Keep doing it a few times. That should be enough. Okay, now uh, we'll turn the unison back to, to one. And the first thing we're going to do is, let's say, we're going to mess with the, the modulator, which is the LFO. And we'll drag that to the wavetable position, and we'll start playing with that. Because we want it to move, basically, through the wavetables. I'm just pressing octave down on my keyboard. Okay, so we'll put trigger on and we'll slow it down a little bit. So what we're doing is we're trying to get some movement. Okay, so once we have a little movement going there, we go over to the filter. Let's put a high pass 24. Juice the resonance up. And we want that movement, so we drag, again, the modulator to the cutoff. And then we're going to play with this till we get a sweet spot. You see how it's little by little, it's uh, starting to have some movement going on. All right, now, uh, to juice it up a lot more, we add a, a sign sub. Now, we'll, add it, we'll drag an LFO to the level because we want a little bit of movement. Maybe sixteenths or eighths. Let's see what eighth sounds like. You see how it's pulsing back and forth? Let's see what sixteen sounds like. I like 16th. All right. So uh, that's that's going. It's starting to have some movement. We're going to make it fatter. Let's put a little hyper. We'll put this later. We'll turn this off for now. Um, we're going to want phaser and chorus and a filter. Let's go for EQ first because we're going to want some movement. All right. And let's modulate it with LFO1 to maybe frequency. Let's see what that does. 
too much. Oh, let me make sure that this is direct out because we don't want the sub being affected by everything. Also, we want a little movement over here. Okay, so the, the main key is to keep using your modulator, which is your LFO, and keep uh, changing, having it change the sound. And you find the sweet spot. Okay, we're getting a little bit juicier. Uh, so one of the main things is a multiband compressor. What that does is, is that will let the highs come in a little bit better. See, see, turn it off. You see how much it brings it a lot uh, more apparent. Now, uh, hyper makes it fat. So that's a real nice uh, trick, the, hi the hyper dimension. Okay, uh, let's see. Distortion is a nice, uh, a nice way to add some, some feel. Let's drag the modulation to the drive. Now we play with the sweet spot. You see how that adds like a little bit of texture and grain to it. Let's go back to multi, see if we can make it a little bit more thicker. Okay, we're starting to get some nice growl effects. I like doing, uh, I like adding a chorus and a flanger filter also. Those sound really like transformerish and growlish, like Hollywood type growl. So um, let's drag this to depth and let's see if that does anything nice. Gives it a little width, just a little bit. Now uh, our f our flanger filter is a pretty cool one. Let's go to flanger plus. Okay, so we're gonna drag the LFO to the cutoff.
okay so we're getting a lot of movement and the filter flan the flanger filter is adding that texture that plasticky texture okay so we got it growling uh let's make sure that we have all our our, our little uh effects going good and uh that's about it oh and we could also um bend let's see bend add a little bit of bend to it A little portamento. Gives it that real crazy dubstep feel. And yeah, um, there you go. It's basically a bunch of rooting LFOs to move move a bunch of things, and that's how you get a growl. But you start off with the square sign the square um waveform and you just resample the detuning over and over and then you add effects it's real it's not as hard as it seems it looks like a lot but it's really not and you could come up with a bunch of cool different sounds let me load up a couple different ones that i got just from uh playing around with the same process <laughs> You see, so those were just some examples. I was just uh, getting into the the real crazy moving uh, leads, the the actual wavetable modulated uh, moving leads. It's called, I think it's called wavetable uh, shape shifting, and uh, you could basically do this in the Europa in uh, in Reason also. I do another tutorial about how to do it in Europa also, but. Uh, I hope you guys like this uh, this little tutorial on how to get growls in the serum. Hyper growls and transformer growls and everything. Uh, any questions, let me know. I'll go over them. And thanks, guys, for watching. Reason Gang, we out.